Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing thymolphthalein. Thymolphthalein is a thalene dye formed by the reaction of thymol with thalic hydride. It is used as an indicator in chemistry. It gives blue color in pH more than 10.5. When pH comes down less than 9.3, it becomes colorless and then red color occurs when pH goes down below zero. Materials required for this preparation includes 15 grams of thymol, 30 grams of thalic anhydride and 5 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid. Take a 250 milliliter round bottom flask and then add 15 grams of thymol to it. Thymol is a phenolic compound with a very pleasant aroma. It is found in the oil of thyme which is an essential oil. It sublimes in air so store it in an airtight container. On top of that was added 30 grams of thalic anhydride. Here is where I made a mistake. Whenever you do a thalene dye reaction, always grind both the phenolic compound and thalic anhydride thoroughly in a mortar and pestle to a fine powder. Here I am just swirling the flask and trying to desperately mix them together with a spatula. This greatly reduces the surface area of the reactants in contact and greatly reduces the yield. Once it's both mixed together, it was placed in a water bath and 5 ml of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid was added. You can see how a stirring bar is desperately stirring inside the flask. You can also see how a beautiful transition of color is taking place, finally resulting in the formation of a deep purple color. That's the color of thymolphthalein in highly acidic medium that is less than the pH less than zero. It was heated for around 15 minutes at around 90 degrees Celsius. You can see how the whole stand and the clamp and everything is shaking because the magnetic steering bar is stuck inside the compound which is already solidified. What is happening here is the condensation of two moles of thymol with one mole of thalic anhydride in the presence of sulfuric acid to form thymolphthalein. After 15 to 20 minutes, the flask was taken out from the heating source and was allowed to cool down. You can very well notice the after effect of not grinding and mixing the reactants at the very beginning. Much of the reactants remain unreacted. But I'm not gonna care that, let's move on as if nothing happened. Next, we wash the flask with hot water to dissolve much of the sulfuric acid and unreacted thalic anhydride. This is not gonna remove the thymol easily. The method I found that will be helpful to remove the thymol is I place the flask in hot boiling water bath with around 100 milliliters of water inside the flask. It was stirred around. Eventually, most of the thalic anhydride got dissolved and thymol started to melt as its melting point is around 50 degrees Celsius. So as a net result, our product will be easier to crush and I was able to transfer it into another beaker and I repeated the same procedure in the beaker. I chose a beaker so that the vapors of the thymol can easily escape from the beaker and the supernatant solution was drained out periodically and more water was added. This will help to remove most of the unreacted thymol. Finally, I decided to filter the product. I did a simple gravity filtration method. The crude product was then transferred to a flask and about 25 milliliters of acetone was added. The flask was then gently swirled. Thymolphthalein is extremely soluble in acetone, but thalic anhydride is insoluble in acetone. So after mixing around, you can see all of the thalic anhydride that was present in it, which is not dissolved in the acetone. This was allowed to settle down and the solution was drained into another beaker. You can now evaporate the solvent to obtain the crystals. I didn't care doing a distillation to recycle 20 ml of cheap acetone. On evaporating the solvent, you can see how the crystals of thymolphthalene is forming.
These are the final crystals of thymolphthalein. Now to test it, few amounts of thymolphthalein was dissolved in ethanol. Here we have two pear shaped flasks. On the right we have concentrated sodium hydroxide solution and on the left we have water. On adding thymolphthalein to sodium hydroxide solution a beautiful blue color is produced and in the water thymolphthalein is colorless. Now on the left side we have concentrated 98% sulfuric acid and you can see that thymolphthalein gave a purple color indicating the pH is less than 0. So yeah, that's all in this video. I would like to thank these cool people who are supporting me financially via Patreon. If you can do the same, it would be helpful for me to do more videos which are better in future. Links are provided in the description. Once again, thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications.